5.30 a.m. flight from Salt Lake City to Denver, Colorado. We're now at the airport, it's just after seven, and we are going to be heading to Austin, Texas very shortly. Thumbs up, today is going very well. We'll probably actually know anyway. Um, so we're wandering through South by. I've literally gone and picked up our like conference passes and all that stuff, which is awesome. And yeah, so we're wandering around South by, and next thing it's like free drinks, and we're at this party for this app called uh, the app is called Sudo S U D O. I'm not exactly sure what they do. Something about control your identity on social platforms. That's interesting. Um, but I actually know nothing about them beyond that. Um, and I'm just sitting here getting frustrated at the amount of money they're spending on live music and photographers and free open bars and stuff that will run for like days. <laughs> that was timely. You are good. You are good. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's actually like it's amazing how it just it reminds me of just San Francisco. Like they have huge amounts of money and they spend it to get people to care about them. And now we are caring. So interesting. Oh hey. Complaining because he last I'm year when complaining's we, bad. Like, I didn't complain. Last year when I brought him here, complain. when I introduced oh, you to South by, um, Jason talked about you're it. You're never going to cut out of any of this stuff. You're, oh, not, you're not going to produce any of this. You won't see it. It'll be live tonight. No, I didn't want it. It will, it will. It will. This will be live tonight. Maybe not. Maybe tomorrow. But Jason's complaining that um, there are a lot of people here from Australia that didn't even know what South by was last year, but they all now know because he didn't stop talking about it the entire time. So. Which is fine, and that's cool, and that's what that's how these things grow. But um, but oh no, Jason's Jason is currently taking photos of me vlogging. So that's interesting. I'm just gonna keep doing this. <laughs> what a novelty! Make sure you. Oh, Jason, Jason, Jason. Whoa! Escalator is not functional. I'm getting a lot of people that are um. Coming in my shirt. Cameras on cameras. It's good, means the social strategy works. So I think this is the little little bookshop. And then big lineup of people. <laughs> Rock. Oh, I love you too, D-Rock. Oh, I miss you too. Thank you, speech family. You are the best social strategist in the world. <laughs> How was? How did, what do you think of that? Was it good? It was good. <laughs> Dude, show, show us your Sony. That's pretty cool. I love it. I, did. I, got it. I only used that on two of but I bought it. Never used it. Wow. I started using it. So, do you like, do you, like learn how to use it well? Yeah, bro. Right. I'm walking through the world, bro. You are. Dude, I'm taking off that. Just straight up. <laughs> no, he thinks he is. Oh, but I'm the one with the camera. He, he thinks that I'm like a shooting like the, the daily Jason. Like that's what he thinks. This is. <laughs> Does that make? Hey, I'll get a question for Dero, real quick. Oh, 
swipe up. Alright, so Jason is about to go and meet Gary for about the tenth time. Aren't you Jason? Alright. <laughs> Love this guy. He's very excited. What are we here for? Yeah, that like that goes like Dad, Mum, Gary Vanichon. That jet hat that he's wearing is specifically for this moment. No, I know the full offensive line backing receiving team from the New Zealand Cowboy. I mean the Jet, the Jets. American the, Jets. New Zealand Jet. <laughs> he's gonna destroy Jason. <laughs> he's gonna I'm gonna make sure. Oh, straight up on me like I didn't buy this because I'm a I'm, Jets fan. I'm, I'm a Jets fan. I'm, I'm Gary tweet, fan. I'm gonna tweet and, this video. Gary's a Jets fan, he's gonna own this. That's fair. Alright, cool. The moment is coming, bro. D Rock. That's cool. Okay, <laughs> Gary's like, come on, D Rock. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. D Rock. Killing it, bro. Killing it. Thank you. We'll see, we'll see you later. Cool. Thank you. Cool, thank you. I'm pretty pumped, bro. I just got to meet Tom Merritt. Tom Merritt is a freaking legend. I've been listening to his podcast since I was at university. And um How many podcasts have you in Dio? A lot. Dude, he's looks like his full-time job. He's like legit. Legit legend. Yeah, Tom Merritt is sick and we're now about to watch his panel. So I'm even more excited. Dude, what a legend. What a legend. This is freaking awesome. He also hosts Jordan Laser with Veronica Belmont. He has about 12 podcasts. Sure. Cord cutters. He uh, was an early employee at CNET. So he's an OG podcaster from the early 2000s. I was stunned by the amount of support that I got from people uh, who were saying, look, we like what you did uh, and we want to support it. And so when my friend Brian Rushwood said, hey, you heard about this crazy Patreon thing where you crowdfund things on an ongoing basis rather than Kickstarter, we have to do it one at a time. Uh, we gave it a fly. It worked with Cord Killers, which is our cord cutting show that you've been mentioning. Uh, it worked with Daily Tech News Show. Did you launch a podcast? Yeah, it may not be forgiving, but that's a short memory. It's forgiving to people that they, because you can reinvent yourself if people don't like your podcast and rebrand it or actually create another podcast from scratch. So just get out there and make stuff. So I've just walked out of the convention center. Um, I just saw a sick, sick conversation where Brian Brushwood and Tom Merritt, um, well actually Tom, Brian Brushwood is in the audience. He's a guy that I met years ago. He's like a genius, awesome dude. And I got to chat to him really quickly and then I saw Tom Merritt speak as part of a panel on the future of podcasting and monetization, which was also sick. And um, and yeah, it was like just epic to meet those guys and have a quick chat to them, so that was cool. And I came out of there and just bumped into Matt Gillum, who is here. Um, and Matt was just telling me um, that he saw a conversation by, was it like the head of design? Yeah. At Adobe, talking about like the process of thinking. Is like, yeah. So like, what, what did you learn? Well, the biggest thing he was talking about was like, creativity isn't as much like, a, we think it's like you have it in your genes, you're born with creativity. It's more about, he said, creativity is a way of operating. It's like, right. we apply principles and frameworks to our creativity, which helps us be more creative as a team and like push, push the boundaries, which is over you're doing every day. Right. And the way they sort of talk about this one thing I really took away that was sick, was this idea of open and closed thinking. And it's like when they're originally tackling a problem, they'll be in this, this mode called open thinking, where the, their meetings are run, open thinking, and it's all about unpacking and unpacking and packing and no one's really shutting ideas down and everything's everything's a good yeah. idea until it's validated and that's that's the thing they apply and then once they've chosen their direction they they switch this thinking called closed thinking where it's all about now we're gonna we're going this direction that's where we're running 
right. we close and we narrow in the process and they just roll in that direction. So that's like where they, where they almost like create constraints around the thinking then. Yes. Like, okay, we're going to work in this area, here's the limitations, here's the opportunities. Yes, this is, this is the direction we're running. If you don't think it's a good idea, we don't care because this is what yeah. we're doing and you're going to work with that. Right. And it gets stuff done. This is like, and so like typically as we're in the middle of this conversation, there's like a train. Like, is it a train? Is it a tram? What is that? Oh. Like it's, well, it's on the middle of the road. I don't know what they call that. The metro. Anyway. A rail. That's a rail. A train? That's, that's a train. That is. A tram. <laughs> I don't even know what, yeah. Is it a, is it a tram because it's on the road? I don't know what defines a tram. Oh, anyway. Day one has been ridiculous. Just so much happening. Just we've seen a million things, and I yeah. And this is like kind of an awkward day because it's so busy and everyone's just getting into it, picking up badges and doing that stuff. But it's been awesome. So I don't know what else I'm gonna do today, but it was sick. Went back to the pseudo party club lounge thing, which was pretty fun. So a quick drink after a huge day of sessions. So that was pretty cool. And now we're heading off for dinner, which is probably gonna be barbecue, because let's face it, we're in Texas, and that is the normal, appropriate thing to do. So, see you guys later. So this is how you know you're in Texas. Bit of, bit of ribs, bit of sirloin, bit of mac and cheese. Booyah. <laughs> that is, that is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs>